いただきます。Of the more famous ones like Genki Sushi, Sushiro, and Kura Sushi. But today I'm going to be taking you with me to my favorite sushi place, Katsumidori Sushi. It's in Shibuya and it's very close to the station, so it's accessible and it's super delicious. My name is Hannah and this is What You Hannah Do, Japanese conveyor belt sushi restaurant. Ooh, that was a mouthful. What You Hannah Do, What You Hannah Do when they come for you. Katsumidori Sushi is located at the 8th floor of Seibu Shibuya. Seibu Shibuya is a premium or high end department store in Japan, and Katsumidori Sushi is one of the restaurants they have on their food court floor. They are usually busy lunchtime until around 3 in the afternoon, and of course, dinner time until around 8 or 9. Currently, 3 in the afternoon, so hopefully, it won't be too busy to get in, but even though there's a line, It's okay because they usually have chairs that go around the restaurant where you can wait. And I'm willing to wait because it's so worth it. They also have takeout, so all you need to do is order and then they will prepare your order for you and you can grab it and pick it up here. Finally got a table. It only took about like 10 minutes, so the wait wasn't too bad. I wanted to show you that there are three ways you can order in a conveyor belt sushi restaurant. First, you can take it from the conveyor belt itself, but now maybe because of the virus, they don't really do it. It depends on the store, but apparently, right now, they're not doing it. They're trying to be as safe as possible. And number two, you can order through this tablet right here. So that removes the anxiety of ordering in Japanese or for foreigners like me, just ordering in general. Makes me nervous. And number three, you can call on a staff s o and then they'll come to you. Let's order. Nigiri, we'll get tuna. With wasabi or without wasabi. I love wasabi, so I'm just gonna click that. Number of orders, we're gonna do two. Select. With mayonnaise, yes. So for now, that's what we're gonna order, but that's. How you usually order. And then you click on final confirmation and then order. <laughs> and then we'll wait for the order to come. What goes well with sushi, sake, or green tea? So usually, conveyor belt sushi restaurants have complimentary green tea. We'll give you a glass and then one is enough, one scoop, and then they have hot water here. Of course, you can always order whatever drink you'd like. I really like green tea, so it's perfect for me. To dig in, how many plates do you think I'm gonna eat? Stay tuned to find out. How to properly eat sushi is don't、um, put the rice in the soy sauce, turn over the fish, rub it like this, and then make the fish touch the soy sauce like that. Marinated salmon with scallions. 
conger eel and cucumber temaki, seared salmon with onions and mayonnaise, minced tuna with scallions on top. We have seared tuna with cheese and scallions, sour pickled plum and shiso fin roll. Got a fatty tuna. Look at that beauty. Fatty salmon. Mmm. Look at that fish to rice ratio. If you love sashimi, really good restaurant to go to. too much I didn't even realize the soy sauce on my face. Get used to it, it's gonna be there for the rest of the video. Mm. Next we have this panty tuna and this plate is 510 yen, which is around five dollars. So it's a little more expensive than most dishes. And usually we don't cook wasabi because they already have wasabi in the middle of the fish and the rice. So you don't have to worry too much about that anymore. Put it on the side. Dip it in soy sauce. which I like better, tuna or salmon. When it comes to fatty fish, I like tuna better than salmon. But if it's just your regular tuna versus salmon, hands down, I choose salmon. Kind of like a thousand island sauce. Pretty good. Mm. I don't want to stop eating. It's so good. about me and my family, I'm the only one who eats sushi in my family or like raw fish. Um, my mom and my brother, they don't like it and I don't think they want to try it either. So yeah, I was made to be in Japan. So what's really cool is when people order, um, the chefs put the order on the chef and say, actually came with a plate so that they can count this. But yeah, that was it. After finishing your meal, click a opaike. And then opaike, yes. And then a staff will come. 
to count how many plates we had. <laughs> so once again, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until next time, Janet, and see you in the next video.